Now, also in France, several government bodies have been hit with cyber attacks of what has been called unprecedented intensity. And this since Sunday. The government, though, saying their impact so far has been limited. Some 200 websites were targeted, including the ministries of justice and culture and the Treasury. Several groups, including one hacktivist group calling itself Anonymous Sudan, have claimed responsibility for the attacks. We're going to talk a bit more about all of this now with our science and tech editor, Julia Seeger, who joins me on the set. Julia, first of all, are we really witnessing an attack of unprecedented intensity, as the government said? Well, first you have to understand the type of attack that the attackers use. This is a DDoS or a DDoS uh, distributed um, denial of service. And what this means is that lots of attackers are going to get together and they're going to attack all at once simultaneously. Uh, now, what happens very in a very simple way is that they get together in a Telegram group and they're going to send a list of targets, of, of websites to target. And at one point, they're just going to decide to go for it. And all of the attackers are going to uh, saturate the website and take it down, if you will. So it's just a denial of service, but there's not a breach there, if you will. There's not a leak of information. They didn't get into the servers per se, so they just received a lot of attacks simultaneously. Now, DDoS attacks happen a lot, and what they do is that, of course, they're going to use their own computers, but they also use computers that have been bugged ahead of time. So it could have been your computer, Jeannie, my computer, we wouldn't even know about it today, mm -hmm. but they bug it ahead of time so that then it can forward if you want the attack. Uh, the goal is to saturate the website, but also to get media attention. And unfortunately, this is what we're doing today, but uh, they want their cause to be put forward. They also want to test the resilience of our websites ahead of the Olympics, and this is a huge uh, issue. We're expecting about 4 billion attacks during uh, the Olympics. So uh, one last thing about this attack, we're all looking at this specific attack, but what often happens is that it's used as a diversion. They could be organizing another attack, taking another backdoor, but we're not focusing on that. And one last thing, it could actually be a good thing to have this attack because this is warfare that we're talking about here in cyberspace, but it's still warfare. And so you want to know where your vulnerabilities are. So this is happening there hasn't been a lot of impact for people, but it's showing vulnerabilities to French security services. So it's, it could actually be uh, kind of a, a running test, if you will. Especially ahead of the Olympics. What more do we know about who actually is behind the attack? So here again, you have to understand there are different types of attackers. Some are looking for money uh, and extortion. Others are state-sponsored, and others are hacktivists, as I said. So they have a cause that they're supporting. Uh, you have to also understand that most hacktivist groups are not organized. There's no one at the head. Uh, but here what happens is that we actually believe that four different hacktivist groups got together, including Anonymous Sudan. But then again, Anonymous Sudan, they were m more known to support Islamist causes. And now they're uh, sometimes also uh, supporting Russians. So this is why we're saying it's pro-Russian, but it doesn't mean by any sense that Moscow actually, uh, you know, uh, triggered and asked for this attack to be carried out. All right, Julia, thank you so much. That's France 24's Julia Seeger. Thanks to her.